uh, preferred stick out. I can prove my old hot, man status. Top. He needs to have the cap and turn it backwards like an over oh, the top. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I don't I, think anybody's seen that movie a, except me. Kind of. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, me. Yeah. That was awesome. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. Here we go. Alex Valle playing uh, Abel on the left. Combo Fiend playing Ryu on the right. Wait, no, you're backwards. <laughs> Alright, I found out in advance this time. That's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> AJ points at oh, the screen wow. and tells us. Alex Valle trying to set the tone early with the wake up jab dragon punch. Just to let Combo Fiend know he's not afraid to wake up with, with uh, shenanigans. Yep, and he can't take that much damage right now. Yeah, right. Because every time you get hit by Abel's change of direction, the full three hits, you have to consider yourself kind of lucky because it really doesn't hurt that much yeah. in the grand scheme of what Abel can do. Right. Is that one that Vi is doing? Yeah, yeah, Vi stands up. Ooh, overhead, and Alex didn't know what side he was going to end his role. And the battle continues. Fight! Right, Five seconds in, 40% light ball. Yep, like we said earlier, Combo Fiend's distinct get play style is fearless. Yeah. Closer to my mouth, all right. Combo Fiend is not afraid to continue rushing in. There's a lot of situations where he'll get hit. Like, for example, if he rolls and someone was waiting for it like that to throw him, right. he'll keep rolling. He'll keep rolling because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Combo Fiend is not affected by things like oh, that. Oh, sweet. Hit confirm combo. Bam! Yeah, I really like how he played that there. And uh, towards the end of the round, he was just kind of playing footsies. And mm -hmm. A lot of times when you have that big lead, you'll right. tend to play a little tentative. But not Combo Fiend. He just keeps going. Yeah, I mean, he has a game plan, and he knows what he wants to do. And he doesn't really let the other player uh, affect that. Yeah, I think he calls that the inner city style. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Wow. Just keep guessing right after that. Uh, Oh man, that could have been punished a little better than that. That that low pierce is pretty unsafe if only the first hit hits. Yeah, I think Alex was just happy to actually block it. Right, yeah. Sometimes when you're oh, thinking wow. too hard about successfully blocking something, it's hard to react and oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's good stuff. Can Abel is is does Abel have a bad time punishing the low roundhouse of Rue? Uh you know, I'm not sure. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, oh nice! He did, yeah, he, he did his uh, his meaty jump around house a little too early there. Yeah, and also the EX uh, tornado throw has a little bit of invincibility. Right. Yeah. If you if you do your meaty too early, then uh, it'll just you're, it'll just fall through mm -hmm. through the invincibility. Yep, so when meatying able, you have to time it a little later than against most characters. Mm -hmm. In between that time and the time when uh, EX COD will just hit you out of the air. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's the trickiest thing about Abel is they made his regular tornado throw invincible to throws, but his EX one can be thrown, but that one's invincible to hits. So the EX one turn can be thrown. So it's, got, it's that mind game that he sets up. Oh, yeah. Okay. He could have done a little bit better than a throw there. But. Oh, Vi baited him with the... I call that the John Choi because I see him do that all the time. But you know what? To be fair, I think every Rue does that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's such a sweet mix-up. Yeah. Especially against a character like Abel who doesn't have uh, a dragon punch, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. And there's actually some characters who can punish that EX Hurricane Kick on block. Well, you know... Against some characters, it has kind of a wonky hitbox. Like it'll just it'll it won't do all of its hits sometimes. <laughs> right. So even on hit sometimes, but yeah, on on block, it's more more easily punishable. Right. You see how Combo Fiend's taking up that space with that stand short like that? Yeah. Like, that's so sweet. That's like space a, like controlling. A it's just his. <laughs> whenever that that short is out. Yep. 
I always tell everybody to go onto the Shoryuken forums, go to the Domination 101 oh, nice. forums, and find all of the articles Seth Killian wrote. He has a great article there about controlling space. Right. And that's exactly what Peter's doing with that stand short whip. Yep. Yeah, it's so fast that it's not really punishable uh, on reaction. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing Vi can do is try to throw out those stand jabs. Yeah, those stand jabs look, look really nice. He's been using low medium punch a lot. I think that deals with uh, the the toward or the, the forward forward really well. Just in case you're not sure who's winning right now, AJ is going to be helping us out. I really like watching what's happening here. They're just they're kind of walking back and forth. Each one's trying to take up space with his own normals. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, I guess. I guess, uh, I guess there aren't going to be any numbers. Oh. The one thing that I always say about watching Combo Fiend and Vi is you have to watch the how beautiful the oh, footsie's sweet. game is. You really yeah, have to watch it. Yeah. That's my favorite part. So yeah, watch carefully how how well they space their attacks, how well they try to stay out of each other's range. It's it's good stuff. It's it really is. Nice. Some smart fireballs going on right here. Wow, this is a really good round from Alex. He's really yeah. taking up space well. He's throwing out fireballs at smart times. I always say that about Vi. Oh, is that, a huge turnaround. I always say that about Vi. Is it takes him a while to figure out his opponents, but he figures people out faster than most other oh, players yeah. that I know. Yeah, he's definitely one of the best at adapting. Yeah. Here's another huge damage. Oh man, this, I don't think this is gonna kill no, him. He, yeah, I think it'll. Uh, but it's gonna be pain. Yeah, almost done. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to Oh, yeah. no I think he just went for it and figured if I win, I win. If I don't, why don't he could have just... made it a little safer. Yeah, I guess it's true. He, yeah, he did it. Nice low roundhouse reaction to that whiff wheel kick, by the way. Oh, wow. Up. Timing is meaty a little too early again. Yep. I think what he's trying to do is safe jump and to throw, maybe option select. But you don't need to time it that early. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's pretty, I mean, not that it's easy to time, but I mean, it's just you don't need to do it that early. Right. And true. And and there's really nothing he can do really to, to, that you need to safe jump against. Because he doesn't have a wake up show you, so you might as well jump late at able. Almost. Well, you, you can't jump too late because of EXCD. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, man. That's probably it. Yeah, that's wow. definitely it, assuming this hits. Oh! And it, oh, and it, oh! Yeah, Vi, Vi just gives him the round. Even though I don't I don't really think that's... Cause the pause <laughs> happened after the, yeah. the ultra was started, but in any case. Vi is disqualified now, so yeah. we're going to... Yeah.